Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the Jaclyn Hill Fall Favorites Tag. If you guys do not know who Jaclyn Hill is, go check out her channel. She has an amazing beauty channel and she has the best bubbly, real personality. So go check her out. But I'm going to jump right into the tag and the first thing that she has on her list is Favorite Fall Candle. My favorite fall candle is from Bath & Body Works and I have a sneaking suspicion that this is discontinued. I've been in recently and they have all of their fall candles out. They even now have some of their winter candles out, which is like, pump the brakes, whoa, too soon, slow your roll, it's October tomorrow, Bath & Body Works. But <laughs> anyway, this is the cardamom and suede candle. They had this out last year and my mom actually bought me this one I think last Christmas, but she gave it to me for my birthday in April and I've been saving it for fall to burn it. It has the most delicious like country store smell to it. It's like if you've ever been to an apple orchard and smelled spiced cider and went for a walk and smelled the fall foliage. To me, that's what this smells like in a candle. It just has uh, sort of just that like warm sort of apple-y, fantastic fall smell. And if this is discontinued, I'm extremely upset, but leaves is a close second. But if they don't bring this back, it's war. Next on Jacqueline's tag is Favorite lip color. This is nearly impossible for me to do because lipstick, lip gloss, lip stain, lip whatever is my favorite. The end. But to pick one for fall would have to be the lip color that I am wearing. I just found it from Revlon. So this is the Revlon Rose Wine lip color and it is this sort of muted burnt orange color I think is what I want to call it it's I mean I guess it is sort of rosy and sort of red whiny ish but to me it reminds me of Kathleen Light's collaboration with Ofra her Miami Fever lip color which I love but I can't pull the trigger right now on the price so when I found that and to me it looks very similar made my day like this is fall in a lip color the burnt rust deep brownish red sort of hue that like is fall in a color i feel like that really captures that i mean i love my vampy deeps and my deep reds and all those as well but i think this is going to be a new fall favorite for me so i threw it into this tag next is favorite fall drink and i can't decide between the two. So the first I have on hand and the second I don't. But for the first one is any sort of chai. I love chai tea just straight. I love chai tea with milk and honey. I love it as a latte form, sort of frothed up with all the spices and whatnot. This one is by Tazo. It is the vanilla caramel chai. It is delicious and sweet. I I think I prefer more of like the spiced chais, but the sweet one is really nice. But really any chai just gives off that sort of autumn winter vibe for me. So any sort of chai hands down is absolutely a favorite fall drink. But also any sort of cider, straight apple cider, hard apple cider, spiced apple cider, warm apple cider, cold apple cider, spiked apple cider. Any sort of apple cider drink is hands down by far my ultimate fall drink. Apples grow in fall. Cider is made from apples. Hot apple cider is amazing. There's there's no, nothing can top it, nothing can beat it. No pumpkin spice latte or anything else. Apple cider in any form, absolutely. Next is favorite fall blush. There are definitely two. There's an old one for me and a brand new one. 
So the old one is this one by L'Oreal. It's from the True Match collection, and if you can't tell, it's super old. It is from the W7 to 8 range, and the color is called Soft Sun. And it is this warm, beigey, mauve sort of color with a slight gold fleck in it. I never notice the gold fleck when it's on my face, but looking at it in the container here, it definitely has it. Um, even if it does come off on my face, it's very autumnal and seasonal, so I don't mind it at all. I have a little bit of it on today. I didn't go crazy with it, but it's just a nice warm sort of color, which I guess like warm colors or that burnt colors like I said those are kind of what makes me think of fall and this kind of makes me feel like my face looks as though I've just been out in crisp air that's kind of the effect I feel like I get from that one and then my new favorite I just picked it up from Sephora it's part of their cream blush range and this is in the color apricot and this one was on sale they might be getting rid of it I'm not really sure but this one is also depotted itself and I think that's part of the reason why they're on sale but so I'm gonna hold on to it but it is this really pretty I would call it almost a burnt apricot it's not like the bright apricot that you think of of summer this is more of like a dusty or a rusty apricot color and again it's got a little bit of gold to it but it doesn't super show up but I just love the kind of burnt color that it gives it just has a really pretty autumnal sort of shade to it that I have been loving. Next on the list is clothing item and there are two. First is a staple. The second the weather is cold enough, I am in jeans. I love jeans. I've always loved jeans. They've always been an easy go-to for me and these are my favorite this season. These are from Gap and they are in the girlfriend fit which isn't as baggy as a boyfriend. I think they're a little bit more flattering, especially on me, but I love the wash. It's just like a standard staple jean wash and they're so unbelievably soft. They do stretch out really quickly, so I do throw them in the dryer just to get them to have some shape back to them, but I love jeans. I live in them until it becomes too hot again. And then next, my love for booties. I love wearing these i love the heel these ones are by nine west and i hunted for a pair of affordable black booties without a ton of bells and whistles and craziness going on and i found these i don't remember how much they were but i believe that they were relatively affordable but i love that they're in a leather not a suede so they won't get ruined if it rains or if there's terrible weather or anything like that um the heel is good I just, I love these. I wear these to death. I will wear these until probably June and even still a few times in the night during the summer. I will still throw those on. They are a must and a have to and a favorite. Next is a favorite fall movie. And I'm not a big movie buff, movie fan, movie fanatic, whatever. But there are a lot of fall themed movies that come to mind. Like When Harry Met Sally. Goodwill Hunting. As a soccer team, when I was a player, we used to watch Remember the Titans. Um, what else? You've Got Mail is another one. October Sky. Um, I think Garden State is sort of fallish, based in the fall. Um, but I love those kinds of movies in the fall. They're themed in the fall, so watching them kind of gets you in the mood for them. But I can't say that I have a favorite. Definitely a staple, of course. I'm sure for most people is Hocus Pocus. That's a Halloween October must whenever it's on. I throw it in, absolutely watch it. Like there's no question about it. And then sticking with the media theme is favorite fall TV show. Two shows that I would normally be watching the fall premieres of have been canceled or have ended. So I was watching the series called Forever and then that didn't get picked up for another season, which was heartbreaking and then Heart of Dixie ended which I don't even want to talk about I loved Heart of Dixie and if it came back it would be amazing so those two are out they would be favorites I do watch reruns of Heart of Dixie 
all of the time like I just love that show so that is definitely a fall favorite but for fall premieres I've been watching three new shows I've been watching Limitless Quantico and Blind Spot. They're three sort of like thinking series. Like the storyline, the plot line, it has you constantly like questioning what's gonna happen next. So they really suck you in. I love all three so far. I've only seen like the pilot episode and maybe another one, but they've been really good so far and I really suggest watching them if you guys haven't checked them out yet. And then next is favorite Thanksgiving food. And for me, what I look forward to every Thanksgiving is the green bean casserole. It's what I go for. It's probably the biggest portion on my plate. It is like my, I guess sort of like my cheat. All of Thanksgiving is a cheat, but like that's where I'm like, I know this has a million calories and I'm gonna eat to my heart's content in it. So definitely green bean casserole, I would have to say is I think maybe my favorite. Close runner up is mashed potatoes but I think that's definitely the first. And then last for the tag is favorite Halloween costume. I am not a super fan of Halloween. I hate being scared. I hate the feeling of being scared. I don't like any scary movies at all. I steer far, far away from them. So Halloween was never really like a big deal or a big thing for me growing up. But I do remember one year, I think maybe I was in the seventh grade maybe sixth grade. I think maybe it was sixth grade. I dressed up as an orange M&M for Halloween. I had like, I bought the costume online or in a store and it was like the round body. And then it had these like three finger handed gloves that came with them that were made of like plastic. I remember my hands sweating terribly, but the costume was really warm up around here in New England. It's freezing around Halloween time. so. I was super warm wearing the costume. Everyone thought it was hilarious and I just really enjoyed it. And it's one of the ones that sticks out to me. So I have to say that was probably my favorite costume. So that is everything in Jacqueline's fall favorite tags. I had a ton of fun kind of thinking about these questions and what my answers were gonna be. It really gets you in the fall mood. Like I've made myself a cup of tea because I was like, if I like it, I might as well be drinking it. Um, I'm wearing the lipstick that I was talking about. I'm wearing one of the blushes. I'm gonna burn the candle once I go back downstairs and I'm out of this room. I highly suggest and I tag all of you guys to do this fall favorites tag. It really gets you in the mood. It's so much fun. And it's just like, it's just a great way to get yourself into the changing season. So that's everything that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you then.